Today I'm gonna show you something really nice. Take a look at my WooCommerce archive page. If I click on the Add to Cart button, the product is added to the cart with a nice animation. If I click on the Variable Product Select option, I can choose the variation and add it to cart. If I open up the cart, I can delete them. I can browse best-selling products and add them. And now my favorite feature, take a look at the checkout button here. If I click on it, it loads up the WooCommerce checkout. I fill all the fields, add some order notes, select the shipping here, payment method, place order, and there you go. Works like a charm. If you want, you can add the menu card here it also adds a nice floating add to cart bar here. So you can add the products like this. You can activate the Ajax add to cart to your single product page like this. And as I said, works like a charm. So if you're interested, then jump in and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, first things first, this time you need to purchase a plugin and currently it costs only $18. If you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the plugin. It's called WooCommerce Cart All-in-One One Slick Checkout. Now purchase and download it, install it. I'm not going to show you how to install the plugin because I assume you can do that. But if not, then go to plugins, add new, upload the plugin, install and activate it and you're good to go. After that, you'll see the cart all in one button here. Open it up and there are your settings. First thing, sidebar cart, you can enable or disable it. Sidebar cart is this one here. If I disable it and save it, then as you see, there is no icon down button here and no sidebar here. Therefore, I'm going to enable it and I'm also enable it for the mobiles. I'm going to enable the sidebar cart icon. This was the one down bottom right. You can disable the sidebar cart icon for the empty cart. I'm going to enable it. And I'm going to enable the sidebar cart itself. This time it's not only the icon here, but it's all also the sidebar cart which appears here. Next on menu cart. If you don't have a team that has a menu cart, then if you enable it, it will appear on your menu. Here you can choose the menu, whether it's on footer menu or footer middle, basically you can choose the menu you have created here. Also visible on empty menu cart or, or on mo mobiles. Next one, add to cart button. Ajax add to cart, enable it. Next one, I disable the notification because I don't like the notification shown to me. Next one, select the variation pop-up. The variation pop-up is this one here, this pop-up. I like it, I'm gonna enable it and I can change the button label. Instead of select options, there will be add to cart. As you see, this one changed here. If I click here, the pop up opens. I'm going to choose the variation and quantity. I'm going to add it to cart. The great thing about the HX add to cart is that it also works on the quick view, for example, here. Nice. Next one sticky add to cart on single product page. This one is the floating bar in the bottom here, this one. If you want to enable it, then you can do that. And you can also enable or disable it for the mobile devices. Next one, recently viewed products. I don't use it because I don't want my products to be bloated with every kind of stuff. But you can enable it and it will be shown in the position you choose here. 
whether it's before single product summary, after or product, after product content, number of columns, and so on. And with the help of this short code, you can show it wherever you like. Now, if everything is done, let's go and customize this one a bit. As you see down below, here is a go to design. Basically, under every setting, you can see it go to design. It will take you to the customizer. And if you can't find it, then it's here. Card all in one in for WooCommerce. Now let's start from top to bottom. First thing, sidebar cart. It opens up. You can change the style, for example, this style or the other one. I like that one better. Sidebar cart position, top left, top right, bottom left, and so on. I'm going to leave it to bottom right. You can deactivate the flight to cart animation and choose the cart effect if you like. Loading color here and nothing else. Sidebar cart icon. Some styles for this one here. I like the first one better. Box shadow and icon size itself. As you see, I can make it bigger and I can make it smaller. And for hover effect, the same here. Cart icon radius, whether it, it's going to be square or circle, I'm going to leave it as circle. You can choose a cart icon, change the cart background, icon color, and so on. Next option is sidebar cart header, this one up top here. So let's change the background color. As you see, it changes as you like. I'm not going to mess with those options here, but as you see, you can change the backgrounds and colors for the cart header. Cart list products. Once again, you can change the background color and so on. I'm going to leave it default. You can activate the cart update when changing the product quantity. It's useful for the customers. Once again, you can change the icon and all sorts of colors here and trash icon color and the font size for trash icon. You can make the icon smaller or bigger as you like. Next one, sidebar cart footer. This one here down below. As you see, it changes. As before, you can change the colors, labels, price to display, whether it's cart total or subtotal. You can add the custom message, message here. Also, you can change whether to show the best selling products here, recently viewed products or top rated products. Change the number of products to show and change the cart icon here. At the moment, it's plus icon, but you can change between those here. Next on menu cart, I'm going to disable it later because my team has a nice cart already, therefore I don't need it. I add it because I wanted to show the plugin option. Now if you see that, oh, I have a nice team here. Yes, indeed I do. It's called Ploxy team and this one has lots of customization options like that. As you saw, I just dragged the cart icon here. If you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the Bloxy team with a nice coupon code for you. You'll get discount with that. But back to the cart all in one menu cart, whether, whether it redirects you to the cart page or checkout page, you can choose the icon here, whether to show the product counter or price and so on. Now the checkout itself, this side here. I tested with the enabling the login step, but it's not a wise idea because customer has to log in before purchasing and therefore the guest users will not be able to purchase. Therefore, I leave it deactivated. So whether to show the both billing uh, shipping on one step, I had it activated. Otherwise, if I deactivate it, there will be 
another step here, the shipping one. I think it's annoying, therefore I deactivate it. I can change the labels here. Back to guard button, whether to enable or disable it. Icons, as before. Next button, previous button. Order, but order button and the top bar here whether to activate it or deactivate it and you can change the color as you like for example blue I'm gonna change it back and now stick add to cart button as showed before this is the one down below here template you have four templates first one as you see the price moved next to the quantity second one price is below the title third one and the fourth one I like the second one the most therefore I'm gonna activate this one whether the floating bar is on top or bottom I like it on bottom therefore it's gonna be there and change the position for mobiles here are the paddings and colors and border radiuses. I'm not gonna go through those options. I think they are self-explanatory. And if you like, then some custom CSS. So, I'm gonna publish it. I'm gonna disable the menu cart. Save it. Refresh a page. This is my cart icon for my Bloxy team. These are the products here, also here, I can delete them, change the quantities, add best-selling products, as you see this one is variable one, so let's add that to the cart or something else, if needed, check out, order notes. Shipping, payment, placing the order, and it's done. Now this sidebar here for me, I think it should be a bit wider. Therefore, I'm gonna go to the customizer once again. I'm gonna open up the additional CSS, and I'm gonna paste this small piece of code here. What will it do? I'm gonna show you what will it do. First, as you see, it's much wider. If I go to checkout, it's much easier to fill in. Also, if I open up the mobile, if I open it up, as you see, it takes 100% of the screen. And also the checkout is much easier to use. I'm basically like on the checkout page without needing to go there. I can close it and I'm back at the product cat catalog works like a charm I really like it let's test it out once again as you see I'm on my mobile everything works you, I can scroll here add something to the cart I can delete it go to checkout fill it out place order and you're good to go so if you like this plugin take a look at the description of this video there is a link to it just go and purchase it for the 18 bucks i think it's a bargain currently it has more than 250 sales it was released uh, two months ago so quite new plugin with a good ratings the support from the plugin is also good therefore i think it's a good investment if you like these kind of features on your site now if you find this video helpful then you can thank me by subscribing to the channel, press thumbs up and you're gonna be my best friend ever. Meanwhile before you go take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now because it's also full of useful content. Meanwhile take care.